that they want to see, right? There's one more thing that a lot of people do want, and that is they want to be happy. Yeah. I've been a landlord since 82, and I was kind of over it. Any other landlords in here? Long time landlords? Am I the only one that's like over it? Yeah, I know. It's easy to get over it, and it's a good thing to get over it. So I wanted something new. The closest thing that I knew was real estate. Here's what we're all looking for. The reason that we invest is this. We want financial freedom, which is the ability to sustain our lifestyle now and into the foreseeable future with passive income. I mean, that gives you freedom. If you can figure a way to get money coming in the month, coming in the door every month, mailbox money, that's how you get free. And so notes provide that. I'm going to show you. Here's the first thing we want to look for, safety. Safety is number one if you're putting out your money. And I think we can all agree on that. Who wants to invest $1,000 and get back $900? 900 900 <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I got an investment for you. <laughs> no, let's get back 900 <laughs> No, we don't want to do that. I get it. We want to make $900 profit. I get that. So here's what people do for safety. They start investing in certificates of deposit. They look for places to put their money, right? Like bonds or uh, insurance products. But the problem is this. When you're looking for safety, what do you have to generally surrender? Right? Return. Most of the time, most of the things that we're told is like this. If it's safe, then the return is here. If it's risky, Right? Then you may get a better return. That's what we've been taught. That's what I was taught. As a matter of fact, look at this. Bank of America yanked this off their website. CDs are safe. I think we can all agree that the certificate of deposit is safe. So Bank of America says, look, if you'll put $10,000 with us and leave it with us for five years, we will pay you 0.75%. Yes. How exciting is that? I know. But you know what? I don't know how much money Bank of America has under management like that or all the other banks, but I can guarantee you it's in the millions, who knows, maybe even the billions when you look at all the banks. People are looking for a place to put their money to get a good return. Oh, I'm sorry, to get seen. That's number one. But here's what happens. You start losing sleep. Because as we get older, we start to realize, I need a better return. Don't we? I mean, how long do you live with... 0.75%. That's pitiful. They should get arrested for that. I'm serious. That's pitiful. That's what they're doing right now. And so here's what people do next. They get panicked and they go, okay, I'm getting older. And I'm just basically telling my own story, I think. <laughs> getting older and these low returns don't work. I got to do something different. And so people turn to the stock market. While it may not be our first choice, what else are you going to do if you don't know? Am I right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What else are you going to do? Here's the problem with the market. <clears throat> What's the one word that describes it? Volatile. 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 You don't even know what it's going to be. Plus, where did you get into the market? Get in here? Get in here? Get in here? Worse yet, where are you going to get out? There's a day where you're going to pull your money out. Is it going to be here? Is it going to be there? I don't like that. I put money in the market and it's like, it was gone. I don't know where it went. It was just gone. After losing about 10 grand, I said, okay, what am I doing? That's crazy. The market has done overall not poorly over the last 50 years. It's averaged a little less than 10%. But here's the problem. There's been 26 corrections in the market in the past 50 years. Now, corrections where it does this, it's substantial. The average loss during these corrections, as you can see, has been 12%. That's not cool. But that's not the worst of it. There have been six bear markets where the average loss during the bear markets is 42%. And this is where people are putting their money. You know how much money is in the markets? Holy smokes. What I'm going to show you today will change everything for you. This is what happens when you put too much money in the market. I have clients who used to look like that. People are also looking for income. That's the third thing. Now, for a lot of folks, they will forego income if they don't need it right now. 
if they can get a return, and probably people in this room right now that have money that's growing, even